I have known Dr. Douglas Kelly for about 30 years. He was on the search committee that hired me to come to Reformed Theological Seminary in 1989. And though he's only old enough to be my older brother, he's been a spiritual father to me. And I know to so many other people. Doug Kelly is a rich resource for the church, not only as a churchman, but as a remarkable mind who's expositor of the scriptures in a way that really is, is it's hard to com find comparison in modern day theologians. But on top of that, he always delivers his content in a way that you know he loves Christ, loves his church, and loves those he's talking to. So I often hear students say, when I hear a Dr. Kelly lecture, I don't know whether I'm hearing a sermon or whether I'm hearing him just give an academic presentation. Uh, it's sort of a mix between the two, and that's exactly what we love to hear. We want our students to feel like they're receiving great content, but great content that comes not only from the mind, but from the heart and to the hearts of those who are listening. And in many ways, um, Doug Kelly epitomizes everything that uh, RTS stood for and, and should stand for in the decades uh, to come. I don't know anybody who is able to make the unseen world of spiritual reality utterly real in the way that Dr. Douglas Kelly can in his preaching and in his teaching. I first came to uh, knowledge of Doug Kelly actually through the Kelly clan. And one thing that strikes you right away when you meet a Kelly child, not only is their high regard for their father, um, but also their, their depth of theological and spiritual insight. Um, it's remarkable uh, to see the man through his family. I give thanks for Doug Kelly. I give thanks for the contributions that he has made over the course of his life and work and scholarship to the Church of Jesus Christ, but I also thank him just for the way in which he raised his family. When he's talking about how great God is, it's like a worship service. When he's talking about the beauty of Christ, it's a worship service. When he's talking about the Trinity and how they love each other, and that's a pattern for us, it's like a worship service. I, my classes aren't like that, but Dr. Kelly's classes were like worship services and the students loved him for it. You know, when I think about Dr. Kelly's impact on RTS over the years, I think the best way to tell how a professor has impacted a seminary is by talking to our alumni. I talk to a lot of alumni over the years. I speak to their churches, I meet with them individually, and I always ask them, hey, what impacted you about your time at RTS Charlotte? And almost to a person, one of the first names they mention is the name Doug Kelly. You know, Dr. Kelly has not limited his uh, influence on the students to the classroom. Uh, he has had us in his home. Uh, he has preached at our ordination services. He's baptized our children. Uh, he's preached at the um, weddings of, of students. Um, he has loved the students and invested in our lives. Uh, I'm immensely grateful uh, that I've known Doug Kelly and uh, been able to call him a friend and a colleague. Our institution, our seminary, would be immensely poorer for not having had Doug Kelly at its helm in Jackson and in Charlotte. The truths of God and of His Spirit are so real that they are palpable when you listen to that man's teaching. And I'm forever thankful for the spiritual blessing that he and his family have been to me and to literally hundreds and hundreds of others here in our RTS family.